Did I show you that that lion that we were extracting DNA from in Zimbabwe? Did I tell you about this? I don't think so. <sighs> Dude, this was pretty nuts. Um, so in uh, late last year, I was tracking this giant lion that this friend of mine had told me that he'd seen. And we surmised that there was a potential that this animal, because it was so big, it had such unique behavior in the fact that it was hunting uh, buffalo and even, even juvenile elephants. And then finally, um, this massive black mane lion came in and I, I darted it from about 30 feet away from a blind. <gasps> yeah. 30 feet? But wait, it gets worse. But when I hit it, I had dosed for, and it wasn't even me, we had a vet with us, he had dosed for a regular sized African lion. And we get up to it and we're like, oh, he's down. Okay, time to do our workup. And I start walking up to it to check it, as you do when you've tranked an animal. I get Joe from me to that to that television, the big one right there, and it pops up and he's like, hello. It's not all the way asleep. And I just drop to the ground and just go just go limp, right? Because I'm like, crap, this he's gonna come and kill me. And fortunately he was drugged up enough, even though he wasn't asleep, to just kind of like not know where I was and like didn't really charge, but